This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these vector sale tags using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and I'll get started here in Inkscape. By the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the view set to custom. Then we'll zoom in at one to one. Then we're going to open up the align and distribute menu with this button right here. We're going to want last selected chosen from that drop down, And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu. So what we're going to create first is a polygon. So let's come over to the squares and polygons tool and we're going to select polygons. We're going to want six corners and rounded and randomized both set to zero and then just hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a polygon like that. I'm just going to rotate it around so that the corners are going vertically up and down like that. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to bring the opacity of that down in half. Uh, I'll convert that to a path by going to path, object to path. And uh, I'm going to turn on the snap to cusp nodes. And we'll go to the edit paths by nodes tool. And I'm just going to take this node right here and just click and drag it over to this node. And then click and drag over both of those and unify them together by clicking the button that says join selected nodes. And then we can turn off the snap to cusp nodes. We can go back to the select tool and you'll see we have the shape of our banner here. Uh, I'm going to make this a little, a little higher though. So I'm going to go back to the edit paths of my nodes tool and click and drag over these top two nodes and hold control and just move this up about that much. That's pretty good. Then we go back to the select tool and we can right click this and go to duplicate and turn that red and send that to the bottom, lower selection to the bottom and give that a red outline by holding shift and clicking on the color red and then come over to the stroke style tool and we're going to make this a little bigger so um, I'm going to change this to maybe 20 see how that looks uh, I'm going to want a little, little bigger than that so maybe 40 and um, uh, I'd say that's pretty good at a size 40 and once you have it at a good thickness about that much we can go to path stroke to path path break apart path union. And what we'll do now is click and drag over all of this, bring the opacity all the way up, click off of it to deselect, click on just the color, just, just the black shape here, and we're going to give this a white outline by holding shift and clicking on the color white. And then we'll get rid of the black fill by clicking on the X over here. And I'm going to change the width of this to maybe two or three, see how that looks. No, that's too thin. We want a little thicker than that, maybe four. Okay, four looks good. And we can finalize that by going to path, stroke to path. And if you notice here, let me show you this main graphic. The white line continues on and doesn't go across. Here it's going across, so we're going to get rid of that by uh, grabbing the squares and rectangles tool. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle going over, going over the top of that there. And uh, I'll, I'll turn that green, and bring the opacity down in half, get rid of the white outline by holding shift and clicking on the X. Go back to the select tool. And what I want to do now is I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate, and then hold shift and click on the white shape and go to path difference. And then I'll click on the green shape, hold shift, click on the red shape, and go to path uh, difference. And what we're going to do now is color this thing in. So it's, it's red now. I'm going to make it this gradient right here. And to create this gradient, I'm going to come down here all the way to the right in these color picker. Come over here to this shade of pink, which is FF0066. Click on that. And uh, I'll go back to the Fill tab. And under the HSL tab, I'm going to come over to the H row and click up a few times. I'm going to change that to like 247. That's a pretty good shade right there, maybe 248. And I'll give that a linear gradient by clicking this button. Press G on the keyboard to get the gradient tool. Click on that stop, bring the opacity all the way up. I'll take this node and put this at the bottom. And I'll take this node and put it at the top, but I'll hold control to lock it onto the vertical axis so it's going straight up like that. And I'm going to double click the line right here to put a new node. And I'm going to double click the line over here to put another node. And I'll click on this node and come over to the L row and slide that to the right to make that a little lighter. 
And I'll do the same thing with this node down here. I'll click on that one, slide that to the right to make that a little lighter. That's pretty good. Um, maybe I'll make this one a little lighter. That's good. Then we go back to the select tool and click off of that to deselect everything. And the next step here would be to create this little uh, this little shadow effect to make it look like it's coming out of a slot. And to do that, uh, I'm going to grab the rectangles and squares tool. I'll click and drag and create a rectangle. I'm going to make that blue. And I'm going to bring the opacity of that down in half. And I'll go back to the select tool. I'll hold shift and click on the, um, the red shape and center it on the vertical axis and then click on the button that says align top it. Oh, wrong one. Click on this button, align bottom edge of the object to the top edge of the anchor to stack it right on top of it like that. And we can click off of that to deselect. Let's click on the blue shape. We'll right click that and go to duplicate. We'll turn that green and hold control and move it down here. Hold shift, click on the blue shape and then click on this button over here. It says align top edges of objects to the bottom edge of the anchor to stack it up on top of it. And then we can click off it to deselect everything. So what I want to do now is I want to grab the uh, circles and ellipses tool and click and drag to create an ellipse going over the top of this thing over here. We're going to make that black, bring the opacity all the way up, and go back to the select tool and hold shift and click on either the green or the blue object and just make sure it's centered on the vertical axis. And then hold shift and click on the green object so we have all three of them selected and come down to the distribute panel and click on this button that says make vertical gaps between objects equal. And then we can click off of that to deselect everything. And what I want to do now is take this blue shape and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And I'll take this green shape, raise that to the top and hold shift and click on the black circle and go to path. No, we'll go to object, clip, set. And then we can take come over here to the blur tool and just slide that to the right a little bit to give this a blur. Maybe bring the opacity down a little bit so it's not so harsh. Maybe I'll make this a little smaller. I'll hold control and just pull that arrow up a little bit. Then we can click off that to deselect and you'll see we have our ribbon. It's look, it looks like it's coming out of a slot and I'm just going to put some sail text on there. So I'll grab the text tool, click on the canvas and just write sail in all caps. I'll go to the text editor, pick a nice font. I personally like League, League Gothic it's called. It's a free font if you want to look it up and download it. Close out of that. Put this over here and hold shift, click on the ribbon, center it on the vertical axis, click off of it to deselect. Then I take just the, the, uh, the word sale and hold control and shift and scale that up. And I'll make that white. And I'll duplicate that by right clicking it and going to duplicate. Turn that black. Hold control, move it down a little bit, maybe about that much. Lower it one step so it goes beneath the white text and bring the opacity down. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create these uh, little sail tags in Inkscape. And if you want to, you could also make them in different colors, which uh, it's pretty easy. I'll show you how. You can just right uh, click and drag over all of it. Right click it and go to duplicate. Move it off to the right. Click off of it to deselect. And I'm going to click on just the uh, red shape and I'm going to make this a shade of blue. Uh, maybe a light shade like that. Give this a linear gradient. Press G to get the gradient tool. Click on that, bring the opacity up. Move this down here. Move this one up here and hold control so it locks onto that axis. And double click the line right there to create a new stop. And double click the line right here to create a new stop. And I'll take this stop and I'll just make that a different shade of blue. Play with that a little bit. And I'll do the same thing to this stop up here. Just make that a different shade of blue. that up there like that. Go back to the select tool. And there you pretty much have it. That's how you can create these uh, tags in Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.